Science laboratories and art museums at the University of Melbourne have a lot in common. Researchers at the Centre for Cultural Materials Conservation use scientific techniques to conserve Australia's past culture and history for future generations. Conservation, in terms of shedding light on paintings, is really the significant um, other in, in the relationship between art history and science. Under the microscope, the Domes of St Mark's, an oil painting set in Venice in 1908, gives us insight to the decisions made by Australian artist Arthur Streeton. The way he makes a work is the story of what he's thinking, what materials are available, who his influences are, and answers to, to art historical questions are of course embedded in the artwork. Art conservation is highly technical and requires many skills. Researchers need to understand chemistry and physics, along with culture and history, to help them place an object in the world. The work we do often informs curatorial studies or art historical inquiry. And it's important that we understand that we're securing the correct cultural record. When examining the artwork, conservators bring the piece to the lab to document it in full. Next, they determine what area of the work they will study under the microscope. So, how has the paint been applied by the artist? So you can see in this area here, Arthur Streeton's trying to get a sense of very intense light coming down and hitting these figures and he's used quite thick pure paint that he's picked up on the palette and then just laid down with his brush. How has the artist manipulated the surface? If we move across to these areas in the shadow, he's used quite dilute paint and it's heavily mixed. Here he's used a, a softer brush, he's diluted the paint on the palette and then he's applied it. Looking at the brush strokes, what type of paint brushes has he used? Here he's used quite a stiff small brush and lifted pure paint up and laid it down. Using scientific inquiry in art conservation studies builds on our understanding of the story of Australian art, the past, the present and the future. Knowing that's important for curatorship, uh, attribution studies, and it just generally builds a much richer idea of Australian art history.